Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Valheim. And it has been a little bit since I made a video. Yes, I have just gotten back from break. So for those of you who didn't know that I was on break and thought maybe I just vanished off the face of the earth, no, I did not vanish. I am here. I was just taking a little break. I did play a little bit of this in the meantime to like, you know, just because I love this game and I kind of didn't want to not play it for two weeks. So I, I updated my house a little bit. I'll give you a little updated house tour in a little bit, but also you might notice that I don't look like a tree anymore, isn't this great? So I'll talk about how that came to pass as well, but because of the magic of Steam and its new feature, being able to record in the background, I know that's not a, leg a legendary, no, 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 no. It's not an unheard of feature, there we go, that's, that's how I'll say it. People have done this before, but it's nice to just have it built into Steam, which is where I play most of my games. So I was able to record some things that I discovered while I was doing a little bit of exploring. Now let me show you something very exciting on my mappy over here. There it is. The trader has been discovered. Now I didn't discover anything new because you know that's that's for the camera that's for that's for you and me but i did discover the trader and that's what i was hoping to find so we're gonna deal with that today but let me go over some of the highlights of things i discovered while i was away so i was walking through the forest one day minding my own business and i happened upon a structure of rocks that looked very strange so i decided to go and investigate so i leapt into this adventure feet first dodging the local wildlife in a manner that was both brave and dignified and i walked over to this suspicious pile of rocks and found out that well th th there was nothing there but it was something that was cool to look at so <laughs> I thought I had made a discovery, but I had not. Then I also discovered something else while I was walking around in the black forest near the trader. So, I saw something in the distance that looks like Yagloth's spawn point. Now, I don't know. It could not. It could be not. But from that vantage point, it sure looked like it to me. Now, I, I think that's a good place to investigate anyways, because that's what I need to do today is just investigate stuff, travel around, find new things. So I guess that's as good a place as any, and it is far away from me, so I have to sail there, and I might find something new on the way. Now let's go over the new stuff. Oh, actually, no, there's one more thing that I need to tell you about, the helmets. This is the Fenris hood. Look at how cool it is. But I found this. While I was delving into some more caves, I found a whole bunch more because I walked around this area over here, had some more uh, caves in it, not too many actually, but it did, and uh, I was thinking that I'd go in and just get more stuff. Well, in this clip you can see there were some cultists, and I was chopping them to pieces and one of them dropped a trophy. And that is what I needed to make this helmet, so now I've got a full set of Fenris armor and it's so cool looking. I love this hood, the way it gives me just two beady blue eyes, and it's all fully reinforced and stuff. And that's what I did in terms of exploring. Now let's talk about my house. So I added this extra room over here, and this is now my crafting room. This is where I have my crafting stations, and uh, well, my tools and stuff. It's not very beautiful, it's not well organized, but the fact that you have to place things in such a weird way around the forge, just makes it so it doesn't look very pretty, so <laughs> that's the way it's going to be. But look at my throne, surrounded by piles of money. Oh, this is great. And I can just sit down and look upon my estate and wonder why my boxes are smoking. I'm sure it's probably fine. Anyways, there's been some updating in my upstairs, too. Look at my beautiful new bed. But over here, this is no longer just to the roof. There's an extra room over here, and this is going to be for all my portals. I also have this secret staircase that goes to a secret place. This is something I'm really proud of. It's probably not going to be too fantastic, but I really like it. Look at this little dome I made up here. It's beautiful. And I can see out into the swamps when I have uh, our assaulting armies flooding towards my house. I will be able to see them and shoot at them. Well, no, I can't shoot at them because I'm inside, but you get the idea. So... I think, without further ado, we should get this exploration going. I also started growing a whole lot of onions so that I could make onion soup. That's a good food. I think we should go pay a visit to the trader. I haven't talked to him yet. 
Oh, I should probably get all my valuables. I haven't talked to him yet. I've missed my friend, Haldor. I'm, I, I'm anxious to see him again. Let's just take as much of this as I can hold. Ah, I stepped out too soon and now I'm wet. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's just go see him. I'm interested to see if there's anything different with the trader. I don't think there is, but there could be. It's been a long time. Oh, hi, Halstein. Oh, hi there. Look, he's got a song now. I want to pet Halstein. Halstein loves you a lot. What are you looking at? Have you never seen a dwarf before? I have. Dude, I love your little tunes. Oh, he doesn't stand on his box anymore in a strange floating manner. That's kind of nice. Dude, I've missed you so much. You sell so many great things. All right. I'm sure I've got what you need. I'm going to sell everything. Sell, 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 sell. Oh my goodness, so many stacks of cash, I can't even hold it all. Money is so much more uh, heavy than valuables are. That's interesting. Thunderstone. That was a thing I could buy before, right? I don't know. But there's a few things I need here. Firstly, this. I need that. Secondly, this. It's mine. Look at his animations and stuff. That's so cool. I need Ichmir flesh as well. Because that I can use to build a weapon. I guess that's not really something I'm going to actually do. Let's buy the Thunderstone as well. Obliterator. Okay. I should probably also buy some fishing bait as well. Mossy fishing bait. Okay. I'm still carrying too much. I'm going to buy this. Get rid of some of my excess weight. And uh, yeah. I could buy a Yule hat, but I don't think I need it. Okay, we're good. I've got all the things that... Actually, I could just equip this. And then not even a single worry. Also, I don't really need the wishbone anymore, so I can put that away. Thank you, Haldor, for your service, and you will thank me for my patronage. And I will pet Halstein on my way out. Halstein cuddles you. Oh, what a lovely day. And I think the next thing that I need to do is just search around for new stuff. My valuable box is very empty looking now. I will put these into my valuable crafting box. I've also got this. And that's what I need for the next stage of... Let's just put this in here. I don't need it now. I don't need this now. And I don't need this. This is what I need for the next crafting station, which I got from Motor. So let's just build that now. It's the artisan table, right? Yes, sirree. And we're just going to take these. And this thing looks really cool. So I can keep this in my main room. Because it's just so cool looking. Wooden missile, stone oven, blast furnace, windmill, and spinning wheel. Okay. So that's a whole lot of stuff from the... Uh, Good old hearth and home update. Sturdy wooden missiles that can provide a tough defense against foes. Yeah, they're not actually missiles as far as I remember. They're like things you can like stick in the ground or whatever. Actually, I have no idea. I don't know if there's like a ballista I can make. Um, I don't remember if that's a thing. Anyways, I can make the spinning wheel, which I don't really need right now because I need flax. The windmill, the oven, that's going to be really good stuff for baking high-level foods. That's the hearth and home stuff that I really didn't get a chance to play with because they added that right when I was about to be done my playthrough. So, well, we have this now, so that's good. And we'll put that to good use. But I think it's just, it's time that I go sailing. So I've got a extra portal here. It's called Extra. So what I plan on doing... It's just taking the necessary ingredients to build a teleporter with me and then just sailing around and seeing if I find something and I'll just place down a teleporter and jump back home. Take some of these and we've got everything we need, right? Yes. Let's just not get caught out there without being able to build a crafting table because that would not be good. So my longboat is uh, over by Bone Mass. That's the last place I used it. Uh, so I guess that's probably where I'm going to be sailing from. That is way down here. So I was thinking of sailing around here 
and up to here. This is where I saw that strange structure. But regardless, I really just need to see more of this world because I've been so fortunate that all the things that I need to do are so close to home. I haven't had to travel and I want to travel. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Bone Mass. I've also got Motors Buff, which is fantastic for sailing. I will be able to sail everywhere. I'm going to repair my boat. Oh, it's a little beat up. I wonder why. Probably some leeches getting over here and making it, making it like a snack or something. It's not a snack, guys. Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe I should, uh, do a little bit of this kind of maneuver. I don't want to beach it. That would be very unopportune for me. Please, no beaching. No beaching allowed. And then a little bit more. No, hold on. Hold on. Easy does it. I'm a master pilot. And off we go. Oh boy. Beaching. Beaching incoming. No, we're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about. So I just need to travel a long ways away. And the wind is being kind of, oh, hello. The wind is being a little bit annoying. So I was hoping not to have to use my buff right off the bat. I, mean, I could sail a little bit like this. You know what, might as well. Let's just try it. See what happens. I'm gonna save my buff in case, you know, I get attacked by something. And there's really not a certain direction I have to go. I just want to see if I can find stuff. That's all. So I can go anywhere I want. On the open ocean. Look at us go. We're absolutely blasting through this. Oh, hello, fish. <laughs> I should get my fishing pole. But I don't want to. Is it stormy? Or is it just the fog from over there? Nope, it's definitely stormy. Okay, easy does it. We're just gonna take it nice and careful. And we're just gonna sail. We're gonna sail to new lands. So technically speaking, the next biome I'm supposed to go to is the plains. The wind is moving. The wind is moving. Wind is... Stop. Stop it. Uh, of course you would do this to me. Why wouldn't you do this to me? You know what? I will not stand for this. I command you, winds. Follow me. Yes. Yes. I love motors buff so much. If I use it now, it'll be recharged by the time I need it again, most likely. Alright. Well, we're just going to take a little look-see around this world and see if we can find something interesting. And because most of the time, finding stuff is just sailing around. That's the best way to find things, and... Uh, well, that's what I'm gonna do. I haven't had to do that much at all through this playthrough. And it's honestly kind of saddening because sailing is just so relaxing. I will note that it's very dusty in this particular area. And I don't exactly know why there's so much dust in the air. That fish just jumped straight up and down. <laughs> that looked so silly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this looks undiscovered. Looks like Black Forest to me. Okay. I should sail closer rather than further away, just because it's better for discovering stuff. Have it marked on my map, at least. Looks like we've got some more land over here. Am I going to have to sail around this, or can I go through the middle? That's the question. I don't know. It's not looking great. I wish I could zoom out just a little bit more. Maybe that wasn't land? No, that's definitely land. Uh, is that planes? Oh no. No planes. No planes. Not right now. Maybe that's meadows. Mm, no, I think that's planes. Okay. Gotta be on the lookout for death squidos, guys. Let's see. Anything on the, for on the map? Oh, it is meadows, actually. Oh, okay. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm scared of meadows. Whoa, is this plains? Because it's got a big old sticky uppy thing. Also, it's kind of inconveniently placed. Yeah, it looks like plains to me. Aww. Uh, 
That doesn't look like Yagloth's spawn point. It looks like just in general a rock sticking up. Okay. Um, that's inconvenient placement for me. I'm gonna have to scoot around this guy because it definitely circles all the way around. But it doesn't look like it's incredibly large. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm really hoping to find some some uh, blah, 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 some mistlands. That's the idea today. I've never seen this biome. It was the first new biome they added. Well, there's a fulling camp right there. That's kind of nice, actually. I can't tell if it's got any crops in it. But I'm going to need to collect fulling trophies. Okay, so we've got some little, a little bit of plains marked here. Hello, fish. A little bit of black forest next to it. I mean, a very tiny chunk of it. Okay, motor's buff is gone now, but I still have the wind for a while. We're going very south right now. It's not exactly the ideal direction. Oh, the wind absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> Why would you do this? It went exactly to the opposite direction that I need it to be. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just my luck when it comes to wind. Of course, it would go directly against me right when motor's buff is gone. That's fine, I suppose. But I really would like to discover things a little bit faster. You know what? I don't have to go up there, because I'm pretty sure that in that clip it's not Yagloth that I see. I'm pretty sure it's just another one of those rocks, so hey. Maybe I should just go where the wind takes me? Maybe it's fate. Maybe it's fate. Maybe it's destiny. Showing me my course. We're going south. I really hope that I don't go far enough to find the Ashlands, because I don't want to go there. I really, really, really don't. That would be really, really bad. Looks like we got some swamp up ahead. That's lovely. Lovely stuff. Now the wind is moving all around. My goodness, can you please make up your mind? Now it wants to push me north. That's garbage. Whatever, fine, we'll go that way. I'm so confused, I don't know what you want me to do, game. At this rate, I am going to be out here at night. But I've got a lot of arrows, so... Honestly, I'd be kind of happy to find some more... Sea serpents, get some more stakes. Looks like a massive mountain over there. I kind of want to go see it. But at the same time, I don't think the... Wind wants me to go there. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm gonna try and make my way over that way. Just because it's a cool little chunk of land. A puffer fish! That's cool. There's a puffer fish there. Okay, it seems to be definitely very night now, and that is kind of freaky. Oh my goodness, of course. Nighttime and fog. The fog is a little intense, don't you think? Just slightly. Holy cow, it's like the dead of night over here, and it's so foggy. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> this is so bad. This is. Oh, the wind is turning again. Stop. It's going to stop right in front of me, isn't it? Please. Just let me see new stuff, please. Just let me explore. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Fine. Fine. I'll go this way. If you don't mind. One one this way for me, please. I just wanna get close enough to this mass and see what's going on over there. But also, I can't see anything. At all. I'm so blind. How close am I to it? I can't tell. I, I can't see anything. Why did it just get so much more dark? Ah. Oh, land! Land ho! I'm in the plains as well. This is not ideal. Not ideal. Please no dead squidos. Please no dead squidos for me. Okay. 
Cool. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All of a sudden, the fog is lifted, and I can see I'm in the wrong place. Okay, my boat took a lot of damage right there. I should probably pull over and do something about that. Hold on. Hold on. Repair. Good. There's fullings over there. I don't like that. I don't like it. And there's a leech. I am hitting the reverse. I am. I promise. Come on, baby. Where are those giant waves? Come on. I can't be getting stuck here. Can't be doing that. Come on. Stop it. There's like 15 leeches. There's so many leeches. Please. Please just back up. Okay. Um, waves, a little help here. A little help here. That'd be great. There we go. We good? Almost. Stop it. I just repaired this thing. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop. Go away. Stop. This is a boat. It's not a tasty snack. Let's get out of here. My goodness. Honestly, I was freaking out just a little bit there. That fog was absolutely insane. I couldn't see anything, and I just ran full force into that mountain. Luckily, I was able to turn at the very last minute. All right, we've got some wind. We're going north again. My goodness, I'm finding so many things, but they're all the old things. I need to do some discovering. Hello, locks. I would love to uh, hunt you, but well, I'm a little busy right now. Death Squido, you less so. I would not like to hunt you very much. Oh, hey, is this another thing? Wait, I've got a puffer fish in my boat? Ow! What the? Excuse me? Can I? Wait, hold on. Stop. 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 This isn't cool. This isn't funny. Do you think this is a game? Do you think this is funny? That's a that's another one of those guys. Things. Whatever it was. Hold on. Stop. Stop the boat pickaxe. It's five. Hiya. Go. Hello, my friend. Don't mind me. I'm just here to mine a couple things. Yes, you're so angry. So angry. Okay, keep tabs on my boat, make sure I don't lose it or anything. Let me just get a couple more of these. Excuse me, hit it please. I gotta watch my stamina because if he goes down while well, I have no stamina, that would be... Are you leaving? Are you leaving or something? I really want these. Please don't. I can't tell what's going on. Oh, he's leaving. He did not stick around very long. Alright. That's fine. I guess. How much did I get? 21. I guess that's not that bad. Kill. Awesome. I can't see anything. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that something there? I don't know what's going on. I hate this. I can't see. I could use motor's buff again, but I don't want to use it when I... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, oh it's day again. Hello. Hello, serpent man. Come with me. Yes, right this way, my friend. Whoopsie. Hey. That's not very polite of you, making me shoot my own... Making me shoot my own boat. Not very kind. No, oh, did you just despawn? I guess it is day. Oh man. Oh well. Oh, there was an attempt. Plains? Meadows? Dunno. Whatever it is, it's a tiny island. I guess it's plains according to my map. Okay. Not interested. I will be eventually, but not right now. I actually have a good bit of planes connected to places I can walk to. So I'm not really worried about finding planes for now. I've got some that I have access to, so planes aren't my my goal for today. 
Good, the fog is gone. I can see. I can see. And it is beautiful. I've got the wind at my back and I'm traveling to new worlds. Is that just a cloud? There's some weird stuff going on on my screen. I can't tell what's going on. Can't make heads nor tails of it. Nope, nope, nope. I think it's just a cloud, because it doesn't seem to be getting closer. Just a weird looking cloud. Alright, alright. Anything on my map yet? Of course not. I haven't seen anything. I haven't gotten close to anything. Am I traveling into fog again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Please. I just want to see where I'm going for two seconds. Is that is that too much to ask? How much nothing can there be in this world? There's just so much nothing. I've been sailing for 40 minutes, and I've found absolutely nothing. There's something over there. I've got, got to find something sometime. Doesn't look like plains. It doesn't look like swamp. It's probably just black forest, but I don't know. I need to find some place to land eventually so that I can get back home. It's not exactly the ideal location that I was hoping for, but I need to make like some kind of pit stop somewhere. So I guess this is this is my home away from home, away from home. Oh, another guy. That's interesting. I don't really feel like stopping off to get that because you know that I'm going to stop there and Motor's Blessing is going to stop and then I'm gonna get. Oh, please don't tell me this is planes. Is this planes? Is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? No, that's dark forest. Okay, that's fine. That that's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's okay. That's actually great. That's a great place to stop. And you know what? This Milan Mass is pretty far away from home, so I guess some exploring is in order on this place to see if maybe it connects to something new. It actually does look like there's a fair bit of planes beyond this Black Forest. Which is actually ideal. Because Black Forest being connected to the planes, that's something I can deal with. That's actually great to deal with because the Black Forest is nice and safe. And it's a great place to be connected. You know what I'm saying. I don't need to explain it to you any further. Alright. Yeah, this is home away from home. Unfortunately, well, we didn't really discover the things that I was hoping to discover today. But I did do a whole lot of exploring. You can't say I didn't try. There we go. A portal house, as I have come to call this. Pretty much only big enough for a portal. And sometimes not even that. Alright. Uh, extra. Alright. So... Exploration, sadly, did not lead to any fantastic discoveries, but hey, you know what? Sometimes it's just got to be like that. You can't find things all the time. Otherwise, the times where you do find things would be devalued. And less fun. So, you gotta count your victories where you have them. Just gonna make this look kinda nice. There we go. And we'll just head back home, and I guess continue exploring next time? I don't know, because my boat's all the way out here. I do have this massive land. It kind of seems like it connects up with some planes, which is nice, because I could get some crops and stuff. But let's just get back home for now. Close the door. And here we are, just like that. Lickety split back to home. So I do have some planes. I've got planes over here, which is across the way. Um, I've also got, if I travel way down south, there's planes here. So, we're not, we're not up the creek without a paddle just yet. I was just hoping to find something new. But I guess maybe it's time to explore the planes. I don't know. We'll find out what happens next time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we explored a lot. Didn't find anything. Found a lot of nothing. Now, unfortunately, there's just a lot of fog across my path. And, uh, well, it can't be helped. So I guess we'll continue next time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Valheim. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't tried and you would like to, subscribe to see more of Valheim and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, 
Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.